Welcome to week five of basic serials cataloging. So last week we, we covered editing records that you find when you're copy cataloging. And this week we're going to talk about when you need to make a new record, when there's been a change to the serial that effectively makes it a new publication and you need to close out the old record and create a new record. In this section we're going to talk about changes to the title proper that would necessitate a new record. Here's kind of an overview of the decision process you would use in order to decide if you need a new record. Um, the rule in RDA that handles this is RDA 2.3.2.12, so if you have access to the RDA rules, you can check there. Um, another thing to consider is, did the publisher really intend to change the title? You want to make sure this isn't just a fluctuating title like we talked about last week, or it isn't just a typo in the title on one issue. You want to consult multiple issues to find out that this is for real a serious title change. Um, and so going along with that, you need to look at all the issues you have in hand. If you have a title that changes from one issue to the next, don't just automatically assume that that's a permanent title change. Continue to look at the issues that come after that to see if a title change and therefore a new record is necessary. RDA uses the concepts of major change and minor change. Basically a major change to the title is a change that requires a new record, and a minor change does not require a new record and can usually be handled by adding a note or a 246 variant title field. So here are what RDA considers to be major title changes, ones that require a new record. Um, the first type of major change is changes that occur within the first five words of the title. If it's within the first five words, that is probably much more likely to determine and affect um, searching results, so it's considered to be important to change the title and create a new record. So here are some examples. The Vocational Guidance Quarterly changes to Career Development Quarterly. Those are, you know, there aren't even five words in the title, so that's right at the beginning, so that is a major change, as is a change from Iowa Historical Record to Iowa Journal of History as is a change from Chemical Engineering and Mining Review to Mining and Chemical Engineering Review. Notice that in this one the words haven't actually changed, but the order of the words has changed, and so that is considered to be a major enough change. Changes that occur after the first five words are usually not considered major, but they can be if they change the meaning of the title or they indicate a different subject matter for the serial. So in that first example, um, the best bed and breakfast in the world changes to the best bed and breakfast in England, Scotland, and Wales. That's clearly a very different scope of the publication. It goes from covering the world to just covering England, Scotland, and Wales. In the second example, you'll see world meetings uh, changes from social and behavioral sciences education and management to social and behavioral sciences human services and management. And so there's a big enough change between education and human services that that's considered to be a different subject matter of the serial. Another type of major title change is if the name of a corporate body is given in the title and the name of this body changes. So you can see that the reports of the Institute of High Speed Mechanics, if the corporate body changes to the Institute of Fluid Science, then if that body is included in the title, then that's obviously a major title change. We're just going to talk briefly about the categories of minor title changes, things that do not count as changes that require a new record. RDA gives nine categories of minor changes. Most of these are exceptions to the first major change rule, meaning that they are changes in the first five words that don't require a new record. Um, here is a list of those changes. We'll just go through and look at an example of each really quickly. If the representation of a word changes in the first five words, for example, if it's was spelled out on an older issue and now it is abbreviated, such as in that St. Paul example. That's a minor change, and even if it's in the first five words, it doesn't require a new record. Um, if there's a change in articles, prepositions, prepositions, or conjunctions, that's considered to be pretty minor, so the annual report of pipeline safety, when it changes to annual report on pipeline safety, that's not considered a major change. Um, there can be some changes to names of corporate body that are not considered major. Um, this would be if the change in the name is minor enough that it doesn't require a new authority record. 
Um, so Department of Forestry, if it's, the title changes to Forestry Department, that's still close enough that they usually wouldn't establish a new corporate heading for that. So this is not as big of a change as we saw in our previous example. So minor changes to corporate body names don't count as major changes. Changes in punctuation don't count as major changes. The order of titles, when it comes to parallel titles, which are titles in multiple languages, if they used to give the English title first and all of a sudden they switch to giving the English title second, that is still a minor change because both of the titles are still the same. They're just in a different order. So that doesn't count as a major change. Um, words linking to the numbering of a report, for example, is not a major change. So if they used to say annual report 2000 or whatever the year was, and now it says annual report for 2001, that's pretty minor. We talked about fluctuating titles a little bit last week. Those are not major changes because they go back and forth. If you have a newspaper where most of the issues have one title, but the Sunday issues have a different title, that's a fluctuating title and not a permanent change. If there are words in a list and they are given, um, if there's just like maybe one item added into that list, like you see in this example, that's not considered a major change. And you know, I said before that sometimes rearranging the order of the words is a major change. If the only thing that's rearranged is the word that denotes the type of resource, if it used to be at the end of the title and now it's at the beginning, that's a minor change as well. So those are the differences between major and minor changes and the cases in which you would or would not establish a new record for a serial.